And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with another boss battle of the Drake Head's Mother Crystal. Uh, sorry, the Drake's Breath uh, Mother Crystal. We are going to face the Patriarch and his Liquid Flame, where Jill this time transforms into Shiva. So. I think uh, introduction is not even needed, but it's important for the Final Fantasy rookies within this one educational recording for today. Let's begin. I'm guessing they are saying, Oh, Mother Crystal, please give us your blessing. Oh, my. Goodness me. Oh my. Imrahan. Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? Oh my. You put them in chains and you slit their throats. Fiend. <laughs> their souls were sullied with a stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. The oh my. paid just as the Holy Mother wills it. Repent, abomination, for a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Comrich is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster, and my soul is stained black, though not by ether. But by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more. Nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. Kill them. Oh my. Her limits break. Love it. Oh, here we go. Ooh. 
That is no beautiful way for someone to go. Alright guys, behold this piece of work. The liquid flame. Never for once in all of my Final Fantasy bosses history have I faced something like this. Have I faced the Tatan in Final Fantasy XV? Yes. But this? That's another story. Beautiful. Diamond Dust. Ooh. Alright, let me show you guys what I'm gonna do. Ooh. Come on. Remember how it felt. You'll just be releasing your limit break, I guess. Oh my. Why? Why can't I do it? This could help. Because someone from your own side. Oh, here we go. She won't be able to hold that half back forever. We better make this quick. Okay, so before I begin the battle, I would like to let you guys know: Ring of Time, Leaf Focus, and uh, Badge of Power, and the Cold Snap. That's what makes it all possible when it comes to defeating bosses in Final Fantasy difficulty. Nice try. <sighs> Permafrost! When someone is in uh, Permafrost, they literally get damaged hard. They're like... Defense is down. Ow! Thanks, Torgo. He attacks like Ifrit. I can't believe I did a parry against him.
That's double the hit. All right, what shall we do? Oh, that melted the ice. Diamond dust. Go. All right. I won't take long. That I want. He just turned himself to a dragon, of course. I gotta love this. When you guys uh, get uh, used to the entire controls of the uh, Ring of Timely uh, Focus, this would be more than enough and more. Reaction and anticipation. Oh! He turned into himself to a mini behemoth. Okay.
can't believe I was there close to this ignition. Ow. A pure liquid flame. It's pretty much alive. She wants to destroy it by, its, by herself? Come on. Not in your condition. With a bit of ice blessing, it'll work. <laughs> By the power of Shiva, I shall break thee! You're just another one of Ultima's creation. Are you watching, Sid? I'll bet he's proud. You're one step closer to freedom. The crystal. What did you do to it? Oh. We destroyed it. What? What? Badass. Monster. Monster. Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, father. I have killed the monster and become an outlaw. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. It's over. It is. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. 
This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. Well done, Jill. I'm proud of you. Crumbling. Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Oh, great. Ultima. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. Come on, boy. Oh, now what? Still takes my breath. Now you keep yours. That's where the pain starts. This way, Your Grace. You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will. Uh, I thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you. I will survive. Please, save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. This one is either from Dalmachia or Sunbrick. For a moment there, I felt my brother's presence. You did. I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. But why now, after five years of silence? I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your Grace. No, do not dirty your hands. Look at them all, like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps, the crystalline dominion their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary, while others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek? In the Dominion, Your Grace. Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? Bahamut. He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss. 
and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sandbrek included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will not have escaped his notice. That is pretty much true. As the Mother Crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. And yet how spoiled. Like canaries in a gilded cage growing fat on seed. But now the bars are closing in and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? Oh my. I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, <coughs> let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. So I have finished Drake's Head and Drake's Breath. Randella. The army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. <coughs> Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on lay night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. And that's Titan. <sighs> there is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out the siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut, and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Oh my. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. If our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's just great. That is just great. The traitorous Annabella. What is the meaning of this, Lord Kuka? 
What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. So he named her the very advisor for them. Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of Let me take a look. perfection. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. <coughs> Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress, your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. Even those of Dalmachia admire her? Please. And all <coughs> for the love of a common whore. Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. Controlled by none other than Ultima. To meet great Grega, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. You mean for you? <sighs> Soon. Uh, back at the hideaway. Love it. She's been in there for hours. Something must be wrong. Alright, see you guys later, take care.